self abandonment really quick is that's when you you take yourself and you set yourself completely aside in your mm -hmm. relationships. Mm -hmm. You're neglecting your needs, your wants, your feelings, and your values in favor of the other person. Beautiful. I was. Yeah, I feel like you're reading my mind because I was going to ask you what self abandonment oh, was. I was going to set I it up. You, you just like sucked it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So. So let's break down that definition, Ricky. You said it's when you put your needs aside, mm -hmm. basically, for the needs of someone else in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you one question. Is this only in relationships with partners or does this, uh, can this happen in any kind of relationship? No, absolutely. Um, I've seen a lot of self-abandonment in friendships as well, especially if mm -hmm. we are very lonely and we want to fit in. Um, it's any time yeah. that we feel that our self as a person is not going to make the cut. And any time yeah. that we feel that, it's very easy to set ourselves aside and build up some different kind of person that we think the world would better receive. Right. So then now what we're trying to do is to, would you say first, the biggest goal of self-abandoning before we go into like what it does for us is basically to try and earn love. Is yes. it in, to try and earn some sort of connection in either this relationship or in just like, you know, our connections around in life. Yes. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, being, being connected to parents mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. spouses or relationship partners or even friends is really important as a human. And so it makes sense that we would try really hard to preserve those connections. So self abandonment mm -hmm. is, it's a, it's like a negative way to cope with that. It's, it's a strategy for keeping people right. close, but it's not a very good one. Okay, so then now let's get deeper into this. So we've said that, okay, when I, the reason of oh, what self-abandonment can be about the main principle is to earn love and connection from the relationships I have about, around me. And what I do in these is that I tend to put the needs of other people above myself. Now, if I'm being honest, from like everything we've heard from like maybe our religious upbringing and conditioning, yeah. this doesn't sound that bad, right? It doesn't sound bad to say, no, I want to put the needs of other people about myself. I kind of, that makes me feel highly about myself yeah. or honorable or anything. Mm -hmm. But why Absolutely. is it so bad to do it then, Ricky? Why do you think it's so bad to abandon? Yeah, there's, um. so it is a wonderful thing to be somebody who thinks of other people and their comfort and what they like. And I know a lot of people have a big sense of pride in the fact that they are somebody who holds other people in high esteem and wants to make them happy and comfortable. But there's a distinct element of disingenuine, disingen mm -hmm. ah, help me out here. Disingenuinity. Yes, I got you. That's a tough one. That's a mouthful. I'm normally on your end, so I feel you now. So I got you. Um, we're not being honest with the people in our lives. Uh, even, even if I truly do want what they want, um, because it gives me good feelings it's not mm -hmm. necessarily what my choice would be if no one was around right. and so in that way it's a little right. disingenuous so i'm almost convincing myself that what i want is what they oh, want yeah. but deep yeah, down inside mm -hmm. exactly and deep so <laughs> deep down inside i may actually want something else but yeah. i don't even know what i want because i'm so used to only realizing that if i go after what I want I probably won't get love or connection from people right. but if I right. give other people what they want, then mm -hmm. I tend to get a lot of love recognition and appreciation from them right, right. would that which, be which the case? feels absolutely and that feels safe and that's what we're right. chasing is safety it's not necessarily love and connection but the safety right. that we won't be abandoned if right. we if we make ourselves appealing and easy to be around right Hey, and welcome to the Inner Yats YouTube page. If you like our content, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button so that you get more of these amazing videos that keep coming your way.